And today, I'm going to show you how you can set up an MP3 message alert for your iPhone. Now, in the past, it used to be a very complicated procedure to get an MP3 onto your iPhone to use it as a ringtone or a text tone or something of that nature. But in recent years, it's actually uh, quite easy and there's a couple of different solutions for that. The first one is to actually use the iTunes browser within your iPhone. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So as you can see here, we're going to, on the bottom right, we're going to click on iTunes. It's opening up on music here. If you go here to the bottom right under more, you'll see tones here for just under audiobooks. You want to hit that, and that brings up the ringtone store, and you can buy pretty much a ringtone of any of the uh, songs that are available on iTunes, and uh, assign that to a contact or text tone, whatever you want. For example purposes, I've already got one downloaded here. I'm going to show you where to find that. Let's go back here to your main menu and go to settings. Then go to sounds. Then under ringtone. You're going to go up here. You've got something like this. That was option one. Now option two is if you have a piece of sound that you can't get anywhere else or if you want to record a sound and turn it into a ringtone or even uh, compose a ringtone of your own. Now in order to do that we're going to use uh, GarageBand which you can get for five dollars on the Apple App Store and uh, we're going to go there now and I'm going to show you how to use that. So I've got GarageBand right here so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now for uh, this example purpose here, I've already made a ringtone, and it's a uh, dark cycle, and it sounds something like this. So I've got this created track in GarageBand here. Now in order to turn it into a ringtone, what I need to do is go back up to the main menu here. Then I'm going to click on Edit in the top right here. I'm going to select Dark Cycle. And uh, this box with the arrow jumping out of it in the far left here, go ahead and tap that. And all the way down on the bottom, you'll see Share Song as Ringtone. Go ahead and hit that. And you can name your ringtone here. Now you'll notice a little button in the top right here called Export. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And it's exporting as a ringtone. Now it'll give us a, a option here. We can either press OK and it'll drop it into our ringtone source and preferences. Or we can choose another option and use sound as, which will give us a couple more options, such as a standard ringtone, standard text tone, or you can even assign it to a particular contact. We're just going to go ahead and hit standard ringtone here, and we're going to back out of GarageBand, and go back into settings, and you'll see it listed here. It's already selected for you. It's not convenient. You just go ahead and hit it, and you're good to go. And there you have it. There's two ways that you can change your message alerts on your iPhone. Hopefully that helps you out, and thanks for watching.